Good evening, lifers. I'm coming to you from Austin, Texas again this week because I'm back on business, but I wanted to share this new Hilton concept called Spark. And uh, this little property is really, I, I really like the concept. It's pretty cool, pretty cool layout. I'll show you some of the lobby. Um, currently, there's no fitness center here because they're in the middle of constructing it, but there's a decent swimming pool, swimming pool out there. The lobby area is nice and modern, you know, it's colorful with the greens and, and the grays um, as well, like lime green, aqua colored green, as you can see, with this bluish color and kind of aqua blue. And then uh, the room is pretty cool. So I want to show you guys this room and kind of give you a tour of this room. And then I'll take you back out tomorrow when the sun is up and show you some of the lobby area so let's go let's start right here let's do the bathroom real quick and get that over with and then i'll show you the rest of the room because the bathroom is okay um it's a great concept but um as a maintenance professional you know there's some things i don't particularly like but it's a great looking bathroom this is, place is four months old according to the guy at the desk this place is about four months old and i don't think you would be disappointed if you stayed at a spark this is a budget friendly hotel but you still get good quality. So, so let's look at the bathroom pretty quickly. So it's pre pretty much a basic bathroom. It's clean, uh, nice countertop area right there. The toilet is clean. And then the tub itself is good and has the grip, the grip in the bottom of it to keep you from falling down. It's got a nice big shower head, nice uh, shower. And then it also comes with the, the soap and conditioner, shower gel, towels, and I think the mirror might be, the mirror might be backlit. Let's see. Hey, there you go. The mirror is backlit. That's pretty standard nowadays. So when we come out of the bathroom, right here is the refrigerator, right? Nice little fridge, cabinet, decent size countertop right here. The room itself, as you can see from this shot, is a rather large room. Nice sofa right there with a footstool. Corner lamp. This is movable. I really like these. You can kind of move that around. That little table there. Let's get some light on over here. The little green lamps. The bed is nice and clean. Another nightstand on this side. Then you turn around here. This is a nice desk. Looks like a 40 inch TV and a microwave. Cubby holes. This is the closet area. So I'll get my stuff out and hang it out, hang it up there because I brought a suit with me just in case. So, guys, the cool thing about where I'm at, I just realized the pool is right outside my window and I think tomorrow I'm going to go out there and take a dive into that pool because it looks very inviting from here. I took you guys outside and showed you what it looks like just in a quick snippet. But uh, tomorrow we'll get a better view when the sun is up. But check this out. Right outside of the window is the pool area. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Let me get in a little closer so you can see it better. All right, guys, so the food showed up, and I'm going to let you know what it tastes like. Uh, it's from Warpath. I think the name of the place is Warpath Pints and Pizza. My wife ordered this for me, so I'm going to let you guys take a look at it. Oh, man, that actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to take a bite and see what it's like. Here we go. Mmm, that's very good. I really like the large slices of pepperoni. We just saw these large slices of pepperoni in the grocery store and was kind of tripping off the bag. And it just so happens tonight I get here and Warpath put large slices of pepperoni on this pizza they sent me. And it is delicious. Mmm. My wife sent this to me. Very, very good. Very good pizza. There's enough of it that I might be eating it 
for lunch and uh, <laughs> tomorrow for dinner. So anyway, that's it. I'm, I got some work to do and I'm going to bed. What's going on guys i'm back this is day three wednesday actually uh yesterday i didn't do much it was a long day i was exhausted when i got back to the room but today i got something special i went down the street and i tried luna's tacos i brought some back i got three birria birria tacos it's got the sauce right here hold on let me show you what i got hold on so it's got the birria sauce right there three birria tacos they gave some Garnish right there with lime um, and looks like radish, some rice, and some black beans. It looks fantastic. It smells great. Um, also, they gave me the little uh, green sauce and the red sauce. So I'm going to let you guys know what this is like, but tomorrow I got something special. I'm going to make the effort to get back from the office early enough to take you guys and show you some around rock. So be counting on that. I'll see you guys just a minute after I try this food. Give me a second. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna take a dip of this uh, this taco. This is pretty heavy, actually. It's pretty thick. I might, I don't know if I'll make it through all three of them, but let's take a look at it. So we're gonna get a little dip in the bitter sauce or whatever that sauce is called. So here we go. Mmm. That is delicious. So I got this from, like I said, Luna's Tacos, not too far from our hotel. This is absolutely fantastic tacos. Very, very good. Actually, some of the best tacos I've ever had. All right, guys, so one of the original um, surprises that I have for you here in Round Rock is I had no idea that this town, the city of Round Rock, is actually named after a round rock. So let me show you that. This rock right here is what settlers and people who were traveling long time ago by horse and by carriage, this is how they knew they were in the city of Round Rock when they actually saw this rock right here, they knew they had made it to the city of Round Rock. So the cool part about this town is they're redoing all of this area, building this river front or creek front up right here. On the other side is a waterfall. I'm going to take you over there. They're rebuilding this bridge that's above me. So take a look at this bridge. You see it comes from all the way over there at the beginning of the park, stretches over my head and goes all the way over to the other side. And I mean, this is going to be a very beautiful, once they're done, I'm gonna take you back on the other side and show you the waterfall on the other side of the park before I go grab some dinner. Right, guys so we made it to the waterfall on the other side this is a beautiful little area um, there's plenty of rock right here and it's a pretty heavy stream coming through this creek so take a look check that waterfall out there's a family I, apparently I've seen online that people are swimming in here in some of the pictures um, I probably wouldn't swim in it but hey to each his own the water is somewhat clear this is referred to as Heritage Trail. This, uh, from what I read online, this is the original location. Somewhere in here is the original location of the original settlement of Round Rock, Texas. Also, this area is also part of
right, sorry about that guys. My phone dropped off back there. So this area is also part of the original Chisholm Trail. People that were on the Chisholm Trail passed right through here in Round Rock, Texas. All right, so, so much for this Heritage Trail area park, uh, part of the Chisholm Trail area here in Round Rock. I showed you the actual Round Rock. Now it's time to go get some dinner. But we're going to downtown Round Rock. So maybe we'll find something cool over there. Let's go. So guys, we made it to downtown Round Rock and this is a hopping little city. I can hear music playing in the background from one of the uh, restaurants over there. We might go explore and see what that is. There's a hotel as well, but check out the, just, just here's a quick shot of what the town looks like. We got a Round Rock water tower right there. Nice round downtown Round Rock sign. There's a restaurant in the distance over there. We'll go explore. So matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and head this way and show you where I'll be eating breakfast tomorrow morning because I'm gonna get up early tomorrow morning just to be here. And unfortunately guys, you, you guys are stuck with me right now because my wife didn't make it uh, from Austin. She'll be with me tomorrow. I'm going back home and she's gonna meet me at home. But check this out. This is the place we'll be at tomorrow morning. Guys, that's Round Rock Donuts, the world famous Round Rock Donuts. I can't wait to get over there tomorrow morning. I'll sit in line however long it takes. I'm getting up extra early just to make sure I'm over there. All right, guys, you can see over my shoulder, I found a place that's making all the noise. It's called the Flats. Check this out. They have an outdoor patio area that seems to be really jumping right now. If my wife was with me, I'd go over there. Well guys, I uh, woke up to a flat this morning, so I ended up having to skip the Round Rock Donuts trip this time. <sighs> but, now I have to go find a place that can patch my tire because um, it's still a new tire under warranty. I may just take it to Walmart since that's where I bought it. Um, I'll wait for their patching section to open or what, you know, the tire section, the, the tire department or whatever. I'll go there, have them patch it after I spend time, a little time working. And then I got to get out of Austin or Round Rock area. Um, so we're going to go ahead and close this video out. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and remember to get outside and enjoy because there's life out there. Peace. All right, guys. So I know I said that I was not going to uh, come back here to Round Rock Donuts, but I am back. And the reason why is because I ended up having to come back to get my tire patch that I told you about earlier. So, sorry, I want to apologize for the way that I was acting earlier. I was a little frustrated because I really needed to get ready for meetings and stuff. And then I was having these issues. But either way, I'm back at the donut shop. I'm only getting one donut. But this place is so popular. Check this out. line literally starts back there at the building and wraps all the way around to here. So... I'm literally, literally outside of the building, outside of the parking lot, trying to make my way around to the pickup window. But kind of like uh, several other restaurants, if you were to go to, um, you know, Chick Fil A or something like that, they have people outside here that are taking your order before you get up there to try to speed the process up. So I can't wait to try this, but it'll be several hours before I get to try because I'm taking home so my wife can uh, try it as well because we've never been to this place. guys so I've been in line now about 15 minutes um, and I'm actually one two three four cars in front of me now away from the window they're actually moving faster than I thought I figured this would be an hour wait especially when the line actually started back to where close to the uh, drive through window so it literally wrapped around the corner and up into the parking lot probably 30 cars or so but um 
this is a this is a big deal apparently and i'm glad i get a chance to check them out before i get out of here so uh i'm inching closer and closer we'll see how it goes all right guys so there's one car in front of me now i'm almost to the window so uh let's see what happens All right, guys, so I'm I'm one car away. Here we go. Time to pay so we can get this. All right, here we go. It's my turn. Alex? Leo. Too. Thank you. All right, I got the goods, guys. All right, I got to get over and park so I can take a quick look at it and see what it looks like. see here's a place to park right here let's see let's see what it looks like uh, all right all right here we go guys here we go Looks like they taped the whole box up. Did they tape the box up? No. <laughs> oh my God, this thing is humongous. This thing is humongous. Okay, let me let you take a look at this. Wow, wow. All right, guys, I finally made it to Round Rock Donuts, the world famous Round Rock Donuts. And of course, I bought one of the Texas size donuts. I you, there's no way to eat it all, but uh, we got one. So take a look at this. Look how big this thing is. So just so you know, here's my hand in comparison to the donut. That thing is ridiculous. I tried a little later and uh, maybe let you guys know what I think about it. Anyway, peace.